Freedom Daily News. Muslims fleeing town in droves after what fed up mayor just made it legal for people due to them. Thanks to the reckless antics of globalist leaders across the world, terror groups like ISIS are quickly gaining momentum towards their goal of establishing a global Islamic caliphate. We've seen the horrifying results of these barbarians infiltrating countries across Europe posed as refugees, as terror attacks are now becoming a daily occurrence in places like the UK and Germany, as they're now setting their sights on other westernized countries. But the badass mayor of Venice, Italy, isn't playing political correctness games in his country any longer. He's now come out with a shocking way to combat terrorism, by announcing that Muslims will be shot on sight if they're caught doing this one thing in his city. What many people don't realize is that Italy is considered to be the grand prize of conquest among ISIS and other Muslim terror groups as it's home to the Vatican and is considered by many Muslims as the symbolic place that Christianity was founded. ISIS recently declared war on the Vatican in their manifesto, which outlined their intricate plans for invading Rome, as this location is dubbed the final campaign of Islam's crusaders. It will be broken and defeated, just as all your previous campaigns were broken and defeated, except that this time we will raid you thereafter and you will never raid us, Isis Manifesto read. We will conquer your Rome, break your crosses, and enslave your women, by the permission of Allah, the Exalted. Knowing that his city is on Isis' target as terrorism begins to rapidly escalate across Europe, the mayor of Venice, Luigi Brugner, isn't taking any chances of Muslims launching an attack in his city. He just issued a formal warning that anyone heard yelling Allah Akbar on the streets will be shot dead on sight. Anyone who shouts Allah Akbar in St. Mark's Square can expect to be gunned down by snipers within four paces, Brugna Uro said. We need to increase our security when it comes to terrorism. We had four would-be terrorists arrested in Venice a few months ago who wanted to blow up the Rialto Bridge, he continued. They said they wanted to go and meet Allah so we will send them straight to Allah without having to throw them off the bridge. We will just shoot them. Liberals were predictably outraged over the politically incorrect plan, but Brugna Uro said that he does not care what people think of his controversial new rule. I have never been politically correct, I am incorrect. I would shoot, we would shoot, he said according to UK's Independent. He decided to take drastic measures following the terror attack in Barcelona, Spain, several weeks ago that left 15 people dead and more than 100 others injured after a Muslim terrorist drove his van into a crowd of pedestrians. Thank goodness we have a country left in Europe whose leaders possess some common sense when it comes to dealing with Muslim terrorists. Several months back, another Italian mayor made headlines, after Rome's mayor, Virginia Wright, followed President Trump's lead and called for an immediate ban to be put in place to keep ISIS terrorists out of her country. Ray's request came after realizing how ISIS is rapidly taking over Europe by infesting the refugee populace, and the strong migratory presence and the continued influx of foreign citizens has her extremely concerned. Italy better wake up quickly, as Muslim migrants are rapidly overtaking their country at alarming rate. The city of Rome is quickly being invaded by Muslim migrants, where 364,632 foreign Bohren people registered as living in Rome last year alone, in a city that only has a metropolitan population of about 4.35 million. Foreigners now represent a startling 8% of the population now in Rome. In total, there's 2.2 Muslims in Italy, comprising about 4% of the population. Do you agree with Mayor's Luigi Brugner plan to shoot Muslims on site? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.